Hi. In this video, I would like to look into the process of what is the role of the model structure, optimization of the model structure when exporting models from 3ds Max to Eon XR platform using Raptor plugin, but not only that. So as an entry information, I have here a 3D model. It's a model that uh, has been created and downloaded from a GrabCAD library. So it's some sort of a CAD model. I can see the object three-dimensionally and prepare the object for exports. There are lots of elements as a 3ds Max artist's creator and uh, modeler I can do in here. Few things that are important to understand is of course the mod polygon, polygon counts. So this model right now, as every 3D model, is built uh, on the computer graphics. For, for non-parametric modeling, it's actually built of the polygons. There was some process of called triangulation or, or tessellation process that took in place. And uh, this model has 233 thousands of the polygons. This model has also our own organizational structure. That means some of the components when we're selecting, selects all of the components. It has some groups and on groups. So if I will open it, I can see that there are some of the objects that exist as a top group and some of the elements, like for instance, in here, some, and if I will, I can isolate that selection and maybe unhide it. Some of the elements in here that are existing as a separate group. So, so that's all exit isolation we can look onto the different components like this reader it has a pole it has a reader itself they are called body one body two body three as a kind of a elements which are usually like a metallic elements attached in here we can see of course on the on the structure of this model how it look like as a textured or kind of mesh model and sometimes we can see how it look like purely as a as a wire fire uh, um, format and also matched options so you can see how many polygons there are but we want to focus on the structure so currently body 1, body 2 and body 3 are coming into a group called reader and if we would like to we have to be conscious that if we will have this model inside an Eon XR if we will be having a lesson based on this model as it is and playing this lesson, if our learning objectives will focus on that reader elements, and I will purposely first show the, the annotation, the, the, the level of annotation, the amount of the annotation based on the structure of the model, how many they are, you can see here reader, but we can't see those body. If we go inside it here, we see that this, this model is consisting of a body three, body one, body two, and some other names, that's auto conversion process that presents it. If we would like to make them correctly, call them correctly, structure correctly, and being able, of course, to show then different animations of assembly, disassembly, or explode on explode view, as well as some custom animation, we will be able to do it in the, in this video series as well. So I'm going to close this in Eon XR, go back into the 3ds Max and do some necessary changes. So my reader will consist of the three elements so I will rename the object and I can rename the object using the 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 user interface and every software is unique in that case and you can have its own user interface in 3ds Max Maya whichever software you're using so I'm gonna call it like a poll for that and then you can see that the name of that object has changed here I can put here base which is like a tray maybe actually that should be the better tray for the for the reader and reader itself reader object will be in here as well so those three components that coast goes to the subgroup called reader that is eventually a group of the late machine is there and the whole optimization might take uh, longer depends on the how complex is your model you have a lots of different elements for instance if i will select those objects and isolate them just to see so those are like a uh, ways on which the um, elements are moving, some sort of a threaded or geared um, carriage belt, 
and we can go through each individual components and optimize its structure. That's important to understand if you want to you know, build some sort of lesson objective. Sometimes for optimization, you can merge them. If you don't need them as a individual components, there is an ability also to merge them. There are lots of the core elements in 3ds Max that are allowing to do so. So there is an ability to attach to the group or there is ability if we are in the polygon editing option and we have, for instance, the points, we can merge the vertex, merge the objects and uh, as well attached, weld them, etc. Et so if I will attach and uh, another object into it, carriage belt, and I can attach and reduce the number of of the elements itself, I can also do the the attachment base on the um, on the uh, format of a, of a tree structure here. So that is also possible. And uh, the and I will show the the other elements maybe in a separate video. Right now, let's concentrate on our reader, which I changed the objects. Going through the Raptor, be on XR for 3ds Max checking for errors. I will still get information here about the triangle, number of the triangles, polygon counts. That's going to be, we're going to tackle in the next video, how we can A, change the maximum amount because currently it's 100,000, or how we can reduce the amount in the existing model by reducing a polygon count in the model. So when I'm ready, I can do the publish to Eon XR, sign into the account and go through this right now so i will go it quickly and i'll come back in the final result to show you how it looked like so 3ds max went through the process with this eon xr plugin let's go back to the platform i will check if in my asset a new new model is there so there is a second model here because i uploaded the other one some time ago so this is called a lathe reader and if i will check it or try to create a lesson based on that just for a demo so I will use the demo just to check if the structure of the model right now will consist of those components renamed. Now the asset is there. And what we can check that this names right now will be corresponding to the object. So that's the importance of the structure, naming it and being able later on, we will show how to do the custom animations and having those names that we can later on use for, for our objects. A good thing is also that when having those names, we can always edit them indirectly inside the, inside the Raptor, uh, inside the Eon XR. But that's, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.